For many Utahns, their biggest monthly bill is their mortgage. And with about 175,000 residents filing for unemployment since March 15th, many are struggling to pay that bill. As KSL investigator Matt Gephardt explains, many lenders are offering plans to keep homeowners in their homes. But there's a key step many haven't taken yet, right Matt? Yes, indeed, Dave. Ashley, good evening. In a new survey, more than half of Americans who have mortgages say they're worried they will not be able to make their payments within the next three months. There are several relief options out there, but the thing is you have to ask, and many people are not doing that. What is the first step if you're struggling to make your mortgage payment? Contact your mortgage company, right? Yet in a new bankrate.com survey, three out of five borrowers in trouble had not reached out to their lenders. Uh, the worst thing to do is run the other way, you know, kind of ignore this and hope it goes away. That's not going to happen. Now, about seven in ten mortgages are federally backed. We're talking Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, VA. So most homeowners can get help if they've been hit hard by the pandemic, says bank rates Greg McBride. You're actually going to have to have actually suffered a, a financial impact, be it a uh, reduction in hours or an outright uh, job loss or furlough before you're out eligible for some of these payment relief measures. One measure is what's called forbearance, where you can put your mortgage on hold for up to six months. But that's not forgiveness. Missed payments do not go away. So say your mortgage is 1200 bucks a month and your payments get deferred for six months. When the forbearance ends, you'll still be on the hook for that $7,200. You can pay that back by paying extra every month until you're caught up, or you can add those missed payments to the end of the loan, or you can make a lump sum payment. That last one caused some panic early on because some lenders said that huge lump sum was the only option but that is not true, McBride says. The Federal Housing Finance Authority actually issued a statement uh, to clarify that that is not the case. Another possible option, a loan modification that lengthens the loan or lowers your interest rate so that you'll have a lower, more sustainable monthly payment. You should also know that while COVID-19 forbearance programs cannot hurt your credit score under the CARES Act, they can make it tougher for you to refinance. And if your loan is not federally backed, there's no guarantee you'll get relief. But most mortgage companies do have options, they say, if you do contact them. On KSLTV.com, I've posted a slew of links breaking down your options and your rights. Guys. We do love options. Matt Gephardt, live tonight. Thank you, Matt.